We all know the Egyptian pyramid to be a massive, old, and mysterious structure for about 4,000 years. However, different history has been written about the ideology behind the creation and the use of this structure. But the scientist Nikola Tesla explained the structure of the Great Pyramid and revealed some terrifying truths about it. So is the pyramid just a tomb for the Egypt kings? Or is the pyramid related to our modern day technology? Keep watching to find out. The pyramids were built when Egypt was among the most powerful, civilized, and with the best resources in the world. The Egyptian pyramids, built more than 4,000 years ago, still retain much of their grandeur, offering a glimpse into the country's glorious past. The pyramid is one of the greatest structures built with the knowledge of man, and the structure reflects its name. The pyramids are said to be the tomb of pharaohs who ruled Egypt in the past. Many historians have come up with different reasons for constructing this pyramid, but Nikola Tesla believes the structure has a unique shape that allows the build-up of atmosphere energy within it. Still, the fact remains that pyramids were constructed from the beginning of the Old Kingdom. It all originated from the mustabas, which are flat-roofed rectangular tombs made for the king of Egypt that started during the Third Dynasty's King Joseph. After the king, Joseph died, a step pyramid was built to hold his body, and this became a tradition for all kings that came after him. Did you know? The pyramid was built in a way so calculated that its edges and sides represented the beams of the sun and were believed to have assisted the ruler's spirit with climbing to paradise and meeting with the other divine beings. This was one of the major convictions of the ancient Egypt that made them build the pyramid for their kings. Nikola Tesla said these edges are transmitters of energy trapped within the pyramids, and they allow the energy to be transferred from one pyramid to the other. Let's talk about the accuracy of the measurements of the pyramid and its relation to our Earth's circumference. According to the recorded figures, the pyramid's base perimeter, height, and dimensions of the pyramid give an accurate replica of the dimensions of this planet Earth on a scale of 1 to 43,200. Here is the thing, from mathematics, we know some things, like the base perimeter of a pyramid, to be the same as the circumference of a circle. Likewise, the height of the pyramid is the same as the radius of a circle. Suppose you measure the base perimeter of the Great Pyramid and multiply it by 43,200. In that case, you get the equatorial circumference of the Earth. Also, multiply the height of the pyramids by 43,200. You will get the radius of the Earth. You better believe that in all those millennia and centuries, when our ancestors lived in the Dark Ages and were unaware of even the existence of a planet or its measurement, all they had to do was accurately measure the Great Pyramid and multiply the result by 43,200. They had the accurate measure of any part of the Earth related to the shape of a pyramid. These pyramids of Egypt were built with heavy and big stones tightly placed together so that not even the slightest hole can be seen within these blocks of stones, most of which were gotten from a far distance to the place where the pyramid was being built. Without a doubt, the Great Pyramid weighs nearly 6 million tons and consists of about 2.3 million stones that are cut and fitted together with laser precision. Different types of stones were used in the construction, most of which were limestone and granite, which are heavy. The Great Pyramid stood as the tallest unnatural structure in the world for thousands of years, attracting many tourists, travelers, archaeologists, and even scientists. Now let's talk about Tesla's terrifying truth about the pyramid. The famous scientist, best known for his work on alternating current, AC, electricity, is Nikola Tesla, arguably one of the greatest inventors of his time. He was born in 1856 in Croatia to a priest and a mother who managed the family farm. He lost his brother in a crash when he was about seven years old, leading to major trauma to him until his age. He tried to decipher many mysteries throughout his career, including the Pyramid of Egypt, because he believed they served a greater purpose. He attended the Technical University in Graz, Austria, as well as the University of Prague, to prepare for a career in engineering where he saw the electric motor and came up with a way to make the alternating current and the use of magnetic field, which he believed is the principle on which the pyramid works with. Tesla quickly set up his own laboratory, 
where he could let his creative mind run wild. He held exhibitions in his laboratory, using himself as an experiment for the flow of alternating current to light up a lamp for people to see to remove their fear of the new technology he had discovered. In today's radio, television, and other electronic devices, the Tesla coil he developed in 1891 is widely used. In 1905, the brilliant physicist Nikola Tesla filed for a US patent under the art of transmitting electrical energy through the natural medium. It contained plans for several global generators that can convert energy in the atmosphere and transport them over a particular distance. Tesla concluded that electrical energy is in the ionosphere, which is about 500 kilometers above sea level in the upper part of the atmosphere. This energy can be tapped using the right mechanism, which he believed was the purpose the giant pyramid of Egypt was being used for. He regarded the Earth as a conductor of a force of energy with two magnetic poles. This energy can be used if the required connection can be made at a specific frequency. Tesla Electromagnetic Pyramid, based on his science of the Egypt Pyramid, which resembled a triangle tapping into the actual pyramid shape. It wasn't just the shape of the Egyptian pyramids. Much more efficiently, he appears to have discovered that the pyramid's location created the power. Tesla said, I believe this was something that just came about as a result of my investigation into the location of the pyramids. Tesla was then inspired to make his idea a reality and constructed a tower like the pyramids, the Tesla Experimental Station in Colorado Springs. He also built another called the Wardenclyffe Tesla Tower on the East Coast using the required material according to his own discovery and hoped that he could tap into the Earth's energy field. The locations were chosen according to the laws of where the pyramids of Egypt were built in relation to the harmony between the rotational orbit of the planet and the equator. Another important aspect of Tesla's way of doing things that deal with his thinking, including numerology, is his obsessive traits, which were significantly noticed till his old age and even his deathbed. His theory of the number 369 is something he uses for his day-to-day -day activities. Tesla would drive around the neighborhood of a location he is going to three times before entering it and cleans his plates with 18 napkins, all of which were because he believed these numbers were the key to the universe. Some people believe Tesla's study of the pyramid is connected and related to fundamental mathematical law, which he had discovered. These may can use these numbers in his daily activities. Some people consider the pyramids to be works of art from the old Egyptians, but no record of their language was found within the pyramids. And until the date, we only know for sure how or why they were built. They could be energy generators or a major message to drive us into civilization is all Nikola Tesla believed it was. Tesla insisted that the scope and landmark of the pyramids indicate that the structure was built or supervised by a master of advanced knowledge because the structure aligns with the cardinal point of the compass and the passage within them has its own purpose, which is mainly to direct the magnetic field force towards the right direction and to make them function as they should. All of this is confirmed by the fact that no remains or tomb had been discovered within any of the pyramids, which is said to be the resting place of the king of Egypt by the historian. Another factor is that the pyramids are made up of an insulator of electric current on the exterior part and its interior in between the tunnel is material that is said to pass as conductor of electric current because the stone contains crystal and other metallic properties. After Tesla's enigmatic death in 1943, his discovery and device vanished. However, what he was attempting to tap into may have only scratched the surface of understanding the power of something much older, and the myth around him has continued to grow tremendously into our times. He is now perceived as the ultimate scientist, the one who essentially invented most of the technology of our time, credited with key ideas leading to smartphones, Wi-Fi, AC electrical supply system, and more. We hope that Nikola Tesla's work continues to help another modern scientist to understand more about the pyramids and make them fully answer all the other questions regarding the pyramids of Egypt. What do you think of Nikola Tesla about the electromagnetic power of the pyramid? Let's see your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. 
We will see you in the next video.